gonna do tonight, Mum? When my kids were growing up in the 70s and 80s and even in the 90s, it was sufficient for them to have a football, a pair of rollerblades, blades, hockey stick with the roller blades, uh, maybe a skipping rope or those elastics that they used to play and that was their equipment and they were off for the night. Nowadays parents are not so keen to let the kids play out on the streets or in the parks and so they require far more in the way of equipment to help them while the hours away. So we're going to have a look at some of the different activities that are on offer for our kids. Well we'll have uh, swimming lessons from four o'clock to seven. Right. And then free play for children from seven to eight. Right. And then adults from eight to quarter nine. Right. And then after that adults. Right. So for the children you have actual proper swimming lessons with a qualified swimming instructor yes. from four o'clock till seven. Till seven, every half, uh, lesson every half hour. Every half an hour. And yeah. that, that, and what age ranges is that? From, from four and a half. Well, we'll start off with the children in armbands. Right. And then work our way through and then we get the armbands off and then we'll go on, to, we'll progress on the strokes and then we'll go to the awards. Right. Start the five metres up until, I mean, there's some boys have done their uh, bronze, silver and gold. Wow. This is Fit City Broughton, one of the venues that the community's youth use for their extra out-of-school activities. We're going to go inside and see exactly what's on offer for them. Hi Richard, thanks for allowing us to have a look around uh, Fit City Broughton. Let's knock off. Okay, off we go. Okay, right. Any other things that they wanted to use at the time as well, they'd be able to use those. Right. Uh, badminton courts, anything like that. That's great. Um, depending on numbers as well. Okay. Basically, this opens out into like, the boxing gym, the actual fitness suite that we've got as well, um, and well, as you can see inside, we've got that. So there we go. So this is now going into the climbing wall. Oh. Quite a large climbing wall, different levels of um, obviously the angle, the steepness, uh, different faces as well that they can climb up. Um, there's nowhere else in Salford has got one of these. Before we had the you know, different exercises going on in the ring. I'm off now to see what's going on at another youth club. which is part of its extended schools programme, provides after-school activities for the pupils of the school. In this hall, which is the assembly hall of the school, various activities take place, including trampolining and various health and sport activities for the pupils. Can you tell me what activities do you offer for the 11 to 17 year olds? and about how many people come to your classes? Right, we have a number of patisserie classes each week. Um, about between 10 and 12 girls to a class. We don't like them bigger because then the teachers feel that they can't give enough attention to each one. And then we have health management and gymnastics, which also proves popular. They have about 15 girls to a group. We're also looking, we did used to have trampolining, but due to health and safety, um, regulations that have come in recently, we've had to stop that because there's some equipment that we have to buy which is £1,500, so we're just putting in a bid for a grant, hopefully we'll get that and then we can start our trampolining again. And that's a popular activity? Yeah, um, the girls have activity. asked for that. Right. How, what sort of activities prove the most popular? The patisserie in the younger classes, oh, yes. and then it changes to gymnastics and health management as they get older. I see. And how do you see your organisation expanding? Um, do you think you could grow this? I would. Th I think so. It's often peer pressure, and uh, if some girls enjoy it, they'll tell their friends to come along. We do put out surveys regularly, um, seeing what types of 
activities the girls would like and then we'll work on that and hopefully provide oh, okay. it for them. One of the things that we find is the girls have been at school all day and therefore when it comes to an activity that takes place in school they're not so interested whereas if they had the same activity out of school they were mm -hmm. probably more willing to partake of it. Yeah. Have they thought of having a band or anything like that? Um, I think they, it needs a few girls to start doing it and then to bring their friends in, perhaps girls who play instruments already, to find a tutor to help them and then to work together with her to make a nice group and a band that people would enjoy. Wow, that looks, smells Are so good. <laughs> you enjoying doing this? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Good. Say hello. Was it difficult to make? No. What can you gonna tell me what you what you did to make this? Will you take off the dye? Not on me, but on my hands. Oh no! Yeah. Arranging them. to um, ask, answer a few questions for us. So let's start off by asking you whether you offer any activities for children in the age range of say 7 to 17. Specifically we're looking at after school activities. So we offer some mother and daughter adult education courses. We've right. got one running at the moment called the Art of Gift Wrap. Ah. We've had um, jewellery making, they're all extremely popular. Right. We are also now, with some extra funding that we have from the lottery, going to be doing Fathers and Sons First Aid course in January. Oh, That'll be on Sunday afternoons. Okay. Can I just ask you, the, yeah. the, the gift wrap and the, and the jewellery, um, is, is that, are, they, are they evening activities? Evening activities, right. yes. Okay. Evening. There's nothing, I mean, we have been asked to do things between five and eight, and we can't because right. we just haven't got the capacity, because right. it means we'd be here day and night. Yeah. As well as that we do occasional trips, so we've done Waterloo which was absolute full to capacity for all the girls yes. in the community and we are planning, we've got some funding to do some more stuff like that and we also have some funding to do um, some activities for boys. We also work together with some disaffected youth between the age of 13 to 18 and we give right. funding to an organisation um, for sort of one-to-one -one work, say they want to go to the chill factor or bowling or things right. like that. Very good, excellent. And I forgot the library. Sorry. So the library does is during school time, but the library caters for children up to 16, so that their parents can borrow toys, books, and equipment, games for them to use after school hours. So they can come along after school and borrow. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm just regarding the um, the after school activities in particular. Um, how well are they attended? The jewellery. Everything is oversubscribed. Really. We advertise it once, and we will have a hundred people trying to get up for thirty places. You think you've got everything you need? Well, there's there like. Maybe we could we could have like a few more things. What sort of things? Like um like squash court or something like that. With like a bit more um, physical exercise. Yes. Right, that's very interesting because there are some facilities available. We will have to see if we can get you to go there. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for coming and speaking to me about your youth club. Bye bye. Bye bye.